Now, this weekend could see more delays and disruption at the port of Dover as demand for cross-channel sailings is expected to surge in the coming days. Well, I'm joined now by Natalie Chapman from Logistics UK. That's the trade body for the freight industry. Uh, very good morning to you. Um, first of all, um, a bit of a nightmarish weekend last weekend. What, in your view, went wrong in Dover? Well, good morning, Anna. Yes, last weekend was a real challenge. Uh, we saw freight drivers stuck in the queue for well in excess of 18 hours in some cases. Um, it was a combination of factors. It was a busy summer get getaway weekend, which had been anticipated for quite some time. Um, every weekend throughout summer will see tourist traffic peak, but that first getaway from the school holidays is always the busiest. And the difference this year is um, that there's enhanced uh, passport checks at the border. The borders are juxtaposed, so the French, you go through French, uh, uh, the French border uh, in the UK, um, and there weren't the anticipated number of French border officers that the Port of Dover had expected to manage A, that increase in demand, and B, the increase in transaction times from those enhanced checks on passports. So you agree with a number of, uh, of government ministers who, who put the blame on uh, the French not turning up with enough uh, border officials, do you? Because uh, the, the French say this is about Brexit, this is about the fact that passport control takes so much longer now because passports have to be stamped. Undoubtedly, it takes a lot longer. Um, we've seen challenges at, uh, at, at crossing at, at, down at Dover for many, many years, whether it's been industrial action or poor weather. We saw uh, in uh, Christmas of 2020, many drivers spending uh, uh, days on end in their cab, um, and that was because of COVID closing the border. So it, it's an incredibly fragile border. There are undoubtedly more challenges and the transaction times do take longer post-Brexit. Um, but what we need to make sure going into this weekend and every weekend throughout the summer is that we have sufficient resources so that we can mitigate as much as possible those additional checks and that additional time that's needed. And are you satisfied that that will do it? Is the current system fit for purpose? Well, we saw um, last weekend the challenge, particularly on Friday, and we understand uh, on Friday night there were very high level talks between the UK and French governments. And we did see additional um, border force officers deployed on the Saturday, which helped start clear some of the backlog. But Saturday was even busier than the day before. Through this summer, we need to focus on what we can do, which is making sure appropriate resourcing. But looking longer term, um, you know, looking to the 2025 border strategy, for example, we need to make sure that we can digitise as many of those processes as possible. Um, that as much as possible can take place away from the border. Clearly, some checks will still have to take place at the border. But if we can do as much as we can to minimise any disruption, because it's such a key trade route um, for the UK, but it's incredibly fragile. So we need to make sure that it is as robust as we can possibly make it. Well, Natalie Chapman will be keeping a close eye on the situation at Dover for the sake of uh, those lorries trying to get freight through, uh, but also, of course, for holidaymakers as well. Uh, Natalie Chapman uh, from Logistics UK, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.